Definitely, yes, because I strongly believe that each of us who are privileged enough to be educated, to be intellectuals in the society, have the role of corrective, you know, have the role to help others learn. And um, and that's not nothing um, to be ashamed of, but rather to accept that you know, with the education, it comes certain privilege, and that, as I said, like the the intellectuals by the definitions are the ones who try to make the world a better place by educating others and and giving the knowledge, uh, and and being a corrective of the society and the politics and 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 in different streams in our societies, um, and 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 in general. Um, I think that artist um, art, at least for me, is uh, a way to communicate. And so, through my art works, I do try to to uh, bring certain topics into the spotlight, mm-hmm. and in that way, at least raise a conversation, which is the first step of 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 getting the knowledge. Mm-hmm. In one sense, the artist's role as an educator of the environment that you're in is maybe clear, and we will definitely talk about that. We will talk about your work, and we will talk about um, different aspects of it. But maybe, but before we get there, I I wonder about the role of artists educating other artists. Um, so where does where do you see there your responsibility or role within this within the cultural environment of the Western Balkans? Well, I'm not uh, I'm not excluding certain groups. So in that sense, I'm not also focusing on a certain groups. Mm-hmm. So for me, uh, um, it's always less interesting to speak about art is itself, you know, to be self-obsessed with what art is or isn't, um, but rather to talk about broader subjects. So so I don't think that that, that, that actually, you know, I ever... Um, ever targeted certain niche of 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 um of society or 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 uh, professionals although of course with with what i do and 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 um, it it comes as a natural layers or steps that are around me so obviously the artists young artists or students are more um uh, um, they they see my work um more often than than just uh, casual passes by obviously and in that sense i also try to 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 um to give my my knowledge and and to talk with students, to 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 be a mentor, to help, and to so mm-hmm. so I I don't think it's it's very easy um to to distance yourself from 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 a, um from being an educator. Uh, in the field that you practice if you are successful and 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 luckily i think that my work are reaching the audience and in that sense i can i can say for myself that that i am successful and 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 blessed but when those young artists come to you and when you are having those conversations in what way are you engaging with either their work or what are those elements of your work that they find uh, particularly worthy of elaboration, of conversation? I think that the social engagement is very, you know, it's always very strong in our conversations. And and I think that that's maybe the something that 
that I that, that I found most comfortable in in talking about, um, because uh, doesn't matter if we we speak about my my um, my existing works or or the works that I'm 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 doing uh, um, at the moment or or their own artistic practice and the works that they want to develop. It's always I think the the connections that that needs to be established or considered are connection that 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 makes that work relevant in the society that we live. Because if it's if it's completely isolated, although of course that certain things can be born out of the isolation and uh, out of, out of this autonomy that artists have which is absolutely something that we need to not only uh, respect but also cherish i think that that the connections once that work goes outside uh, and those connections that needs to be established in the society that we live in are are extremely important for 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 having the the relevant uh, um artworks mm -hmm. in any era that we live in like you know, whatever happens you know like it needs somehow to resonate with 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 where we come from and where we want to go like if we if we maybe stay on this idea of where the work comes from and whether the work is different in other contexts in which it is shown how do you how do you think about that what is certain is that we cannot predict how others perceive what we do and although we can plan that and calculate and have uh, uh, have very strong strategy in how the, something needs to be received obviously so many different things uh, and, and, and each of us is so unique with our perception and that's something that that I think it's so beautiful because we can agree on the on the time and the space that we share and that's this universal uh, um, understanding that we have but each perspective is so different and all the layers that we have in ourselves like from the from not only our own life but also the genes that are that are mosaic of our distance family and what we what we inherited as a knowledge as as, as a trauma as well it makes us um uh, uh makes this chemical reaction which is uh, emotions uh, 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 that that certain work arise, and we can intellectualize about it, and we can have a certain uh, uh, definitions or formulas how certain things should be perceived, and of course, that's that's also good, and that's why the knowledge is so important, especially with the students, and that's why that that's why the educational system exists as such that we that we try to understand that certain things function the way they are, and that we have this the same language, um, either you know verbal or or written or or visual language, but um, again, so many different layers can can occur that uh, occur that we can't that we can't predict them and that's so beautiful i think that that's that's really these unexpected things and unexpected things that 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 um that comes from the perceptions of others which again go back to the author and 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 provoke another creative process you know so i think it's it's it, it is very much about this you know creating new uh, combinations of the ideas and emotions which 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 um uh, uh, which on the end are leading us in a certain direction or 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 changing things Mm. And and what's what's also I think interesting to 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 think about that in a context of AI and nowadays you know like what what is what is the pool that we can have, but which is 
again only one perception of things you know like or, you know like you put all that in one part and but it, it if the 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 algorithm is always uh but with the human brain it's it's so beautiful because of these unexpected things and and, and circumstances that that are constantly around us and this insecurity that makes our vision and our emotions so uh, um, fragile as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, one connection that's very clear in one of your works, the Ljubljana Bridge work, am I correct that it was acquired by the Tate Modern? Yes, yes, it's it's the work which, which is just called EU Citizens and Others. It was made for the European um, Biennial of Contemporary Art Manifesta, which is a nomadic biennial, and and that year in two thousand it was held in Ljubljana, and uh, so the work was very successful and, and, and noticed, and in a sense that it created uh, a lots of uh, discussions in um, professional circles in the media, but also among just uh, a common visitors or, or, or citizens of, of Ljubljana. Uh, and uh, yes, 20 years after, so in 2020, it was, uh, uh, um, it became a part of uh, Tate Modern uh, collection. And the interesting thing about it is this uh, work created in one context with a with this sense of border that existed between the Balkans and the Euro is now reinterpreted through the new border that's been created between Britain and Europe. So I thought there was something really interesting there. Absolutely, absolutely. And actually it was like in 2019, uh, um, actually, yeah, I, I was wrong. Like the, the work was already in the, in the collection in 2019 and just before pandemic, I was there and we were supposed to, to install it actually beginning of 2020 in in Tate and it was very much like curators were very much interested in this dialogue and this this you know shift that happened 20 years after that so that now these others are are uh, uh Brits and how the the Brexit um uh, became a hot subject for the otherness in a context of the Europe now and the change of the borders. But unfortunately the pandemic happened and the works work hasn't been been uh, shown. It will probably because it's part of the collections and they always rotate the works. And now, for example, the the, the other work of mine, uh, Bosnian Girl is on the view in Tate. So but yes, to come back to what you just said, like it is it is about this universality of the otherness and 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 obviously you know the european citizens or eu as a as a new formation because it's quite new although it's it, it is over uh, two decades old um it is always known as you know that this divisions between certain territories or groups existed and this question of segregation is I think uh, something that unfortunately will follow us um, unfortunately. always <laughs> but how, um, I think it's a nice moment it was actually something that I was going to ask you first but you know the conversation as you say things uh, go in different directions but it's actually a nice point to reflect on in a way where we are today, and I say we because we are, I mean, me and you are in part of, in some way, a part of the same cultural area, territory, however one wants to describe it. And I wonder, if there was a moment when, when the Ljubljana bridge work was first presented or conceived as an idea, and it in some way encapsulated the moment in time but we seem to be in kind of a similar, we don't seem to have moved too much further away from, and you've just hinted at that, from that, um, the notion that that work captures, yet we have moved, you know, time has passed. 
uh, we are starting in some ways or another to reconcile certain things. So, so where are we today? What is Sarajevo like today? And what's the, what's the region, the cultural region uh, like today? Well, I, I, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't actually, I, I mean, I'm not even sure that I like to talk about, you know, uh, uh, that region or whatever that region is, you know, Balkan, Western Balkans, Central Eastern Europe, or like what, you know, I, because I, I, as you said, like we share the same cultural uh, territory, or I would call it identity. And I see myself as a European, as a white European, and 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 uh, and unfortunately, that's something that is really um, um, very limiting. But in the same time, I think that 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 if we start to even this division between us white Europeans. Uh, in a in a in the sense of the nation or the territories, actually um, gives us a, a distance to talk about the subjects which are more important, which is migration, a, a question of the color, you know, question of the rest of the world and and European or Western uh, uh, world domination in the terms of the capitalism and the, the and also the other systems which which are promoted but by our world in in the terms of uh, uh, also uh, not only commercial in the context of the capitalism but also the cultural domination to to the rest of the world and and in, in that sense i think that that what we face now as a, as a europeans is um, uh, is obviously the war that we again have on our soil, in like on our border or, or in our uh, inside of our border, the war uh, and aggression in Ukraine, um, which which is very much destabilizing the 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 uh, our own, I would say again identity of domination because the, you know like I, it, it is I, I would say that it's very obvious with the with the inflation uh with um with a crisis that 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 came with the pandemic but also after the pandemic you know the the it's very obvious that we that that we live in a period of I wouldn't say I, I I wouldn't go and be optimistic in a saying like the end of the certain era which would which would I would call you know like the capitalism but we are facing uh, uh, um, a reality where we can speak about the failure of the system in which we which we live and what you said about not you know the things that didn't change much in the last two decades in the context of the identities and otherness and the nation um and this this divisions between us uh uh which is absolutely true but in the same time you know 25 years ago when when um when Zizek, for example, the question the you, capitalism and and had the, uh, there was and not only him of course but you know like other uh, other philosophers and I, I I mentioned him only because he's a Slovenian and and that was the uh, the work was shown in in Ljubljana for the first time but when 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 the capitalism question and when the the question question was questioned and when we 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 when we for the first time heard is there an uh, uh, alternative for the capitalism i know how everybody was shocked and how you know it was it was unclear what that really meant because it it was it sounded like a threat because of the after the fall of uh, uh the the eastern bloc and the wall and and this you know like a high you know like all, all of a sudden like the so socialism got is gone now we have the the you know true democracy which was which was pushed uh, um which was actually 
you know, never a democracy. It was a capitalism that came to the, to the, the to, to 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 this socialist bloc in Europe, not the real democracy. I think that in that time it was it was this uh, this almost uh, um, uh, animalistic uh, passion towards having that capitalism that others did have that this West have, and that uh, that's that's something that I very much connect now with uh, the race of the, the the rise of the the the, the right wing policies fascism. It is very much influenced by by this uh, uh, um, need to hold on to the capitalism and 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 this interest of you know the the certain uh, uh, profit that was promised and which was this ideal this dream of the ideal society which was sold by the the by the west so so and and as i said like if we want to be optimists um i would say that it is good that for the first time you know we are openly criticizing in a popular circles in 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 the society uh, there is much wider conversation about critique towards this capitalistic, patriarchal, uh, white dominant uh, world that we are unfortunately part of. I think it's it's clearly the development that we have gone through uh, over the past, let's say, thirty years. But somehow we have let's say the the states of the of the former yugoslavia have had a different experience you know we have had a different experience to a french person to a british person in the past 30 years uh, absolutely in the past in, 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 not only in the 30 years yes. but in the past, <laughs> the past uh, since the second years. war yeah. or, or, or 100 <laughs> years of, of uh, from <laughs> always <laughs> Yes, no, absolutely. And, you know, you could go back as far as the uh, sort of Roman Empire. <laughs> but in that... I mean, one, one, which is very, sorry, to interrupt, sorry to interrupt you, but which, which is very interesting, the point in which the, I think that our society was most, uh, 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 that we, we, that the moment where we had most in common was the Second World War. And what what was obviously the post war years in in in, and then it went in a different direction, obviously. But I think you know like that, and that's you know super interesting to think about. You know how actually the 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 crisis, the war, the most tragical thing brought us together. And and again, you know, like you can see that parallel in pandemic. You know how this how maybe the life in 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 um a certain part of yugoslavia uh, ex yugoslavia were were even better than than in 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 paris for example but in with pandemic that, yes but with that different experience especially in the years that followed the, the breakup of yugoslavia the conflict the war i mean that's something that people in ukraine in some way are experiencing today but it's something that we have all experienced and it's actually been so formative for you the siege of sarajevo and the years that you spent um in that chaos that followed the the breakup of a country and though i accept that we identify as european there is something within our identity that that has had a different kind of experience that has even had a was almost had a kind of colonial experience in some way i would argue with with the intervention that came from the international uh, community and the fact that we are we were not able to resolve things how how do you balance i mean I, I, I... I'm I'm sure obviously you know it it is it is uh, uh, our experience and our identity and is is uh, it is different than than the 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 as you you like know, you, you you use the the French uh, France or French person who 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 didn't have the same uh, um, uh, trauma of 
having like I mean we are talking about last last uh, uh, 30 or five, 50 decades like after the, the second world war you know like there was a certain trajectory where the rest of the Europe went and we also went but then you know what happened with 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 um with the fall of of Yugoslavia is very particular and unique and tragical because we had a, such a successful socialism in a way very liberal and then it ended up with uh, with the most uh, 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 horrendous crimes uh, atrocities and the, the genocide and so why is that there are so many layers and it's very complex but on the end it's like it's not uh, it, it is very much uh, 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 um, connected to the history but also to ge geopolitical uh, 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 um, uh, circumstances in Europe and what was the interest and why it was like that and and, and then we can speak about like why why Ukraine is allowed to defend and why certain countries in 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 the Yugoslavia were not allowed to defend their territorial integrity and 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 why it took four years and not to intervention to 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 stop the war why that was something that you know like you could easily solve just by you know having the same policy as always you know like selling the weapons because everybody were selling the weapons constantly and the weapons are sold and that's like the one of the biggest industry uh, in the world and, and the most profitable one and definitely so so yeah there are but you know like there are there, that's that's also something very complex and, and 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 i wouldn't go i'm sure there are other people who can speak about the politics and history in a better way than i do um but what 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 I think again is very very important for me in my artistic practice is to speak about very unique experience that I had during the war in a universal way that others who didn't have experience of the the disintegration of of their country the war the siege the loss you know can understand. And I think that one of the point, point where everybody can understand is the point of, of being um, uh, um, being under the threat, being attacked, your identity being questioned, being segregated, being uh, um, being being forced to to migrate. I think that these are these are things which are very universal, like you know, which 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 we can all um which we can all share and talk about you know like love and loss so Sheila how do you in one way continue to evolve your practice into new media into new discursive areas but at the same time continue to uh, process this trauma and do these things kind of overlay or do they part ways or how do you how do you see that evolution of your own practice with these with perhaps and this is me projecting uh, on one side the, the urge to evolve and move forward uh, but then at the same time to continue to work to in a way be in therapy well, I believe that we all are, <laughs> you know, we are all in certain way traumatized, you know, from the moment since we are born. And of course, you know, some things are more obvious and, and, and we can, you know, perceive them and treat them or try to treat them some of, of some traumas we are more aware of, of, of others we are completely unaware but in the same time I think that being honest to yourself and your own emotion whatever your experience is because now we are talking also you know like with, with the notion that you know this will be shared with the young students and 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 and, and something that, that others can learn from I think that being honest to your own 
emotions, traumas, fear is very important. And also being very precise in, in defining them. You know, they don't have to be defined in, 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 in the artwork. I'm not saying that everybody should be so, you know, so, you know, conscious in, in making something that will very directly speak about the certain subject, but at least on, on a personal level, I think it's very important to, to, to be aware of who you are and what you feel and where, where in society are you placed and what is your dialogue with uh, your, uh, um, immediate surrounding so from that perspective i think that also you know it's obvious that you know time pass and things change and that this dialogue is constant you know like it, it makes us move ahead so if i would say like you know you know maybe maybe this is a good uh, example like i i think that um that artists who who are trapped in mannerism are very, um, you know, from my perspective, I see them as a very, you know, privileged, lucky people who can just, you know, go ahead and they do their own work. They are, you know, either they are, you know, very focused and strict on the form or, you know, media that they use and they, 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 they keep on doing the same thing. And I, you know, like I see that as a kind of like with, with a certain envy, you know, like I wish that I can just, you know, like keep on doing my own work and be, you know, isolated in my own artistic space studio and just do one thing. But in the same time, you know, having a conversation with the, with such a uh, artist that that work in such a way and and knowing i know that that's also you know same prison as i i created with my own artistic practice so so it's it's you know like there is no actually you know uh recipe for 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 oh, yeah. for being how to and i and, and and at least you have to you know like understand that it's it's up to you to just you know keep on doing and trying the best thing but if you are aware that you are also a corrective of society to come back to do your first question and that your work resonate in others in a certain way then maybe from that responsibility things can move you in direction where you are just not you in your own golden uh, uh cave or cage uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. where you are trapped like that that somehow it, it, it you know like this this response this this the, the work how the work resonates in others the the reaction the, it makes you go outside a little bit you know like to spread out and and in in that way maybe to grow or move as you said like or um involved in there is one work of yours that i feel connects these few things that we've just mentioned in a very subtle way and that's the the gigantic table covers um ah, dollies dollies the dollies. crochet dollies yeah yes when i heard you talk about it it was this kind of intuitive process of making and this kind of very expansive pro process of making uh, like a nerd to make uh, but then almost in reflecting on that work you could see the meaning uh, the social, historical, and very personal meaning that almost appeared later on, or, I mean, I don't know if it's later on. So perhaps that's an example of what we've just been it, talking it, about. It is, it is. And I, I, and I have to mention, and you are absolutely right, this, this series of work is called Hooked. So even in, in the, the title that they carry, there is a hint of what they are, like it's something that you get hooked on or, or, or the pro in, of, in the process of making you become obsessed and and in that obsession you know there is you know 
understanding what that really is and and how you are in capture the with the with the process and 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 um but i i mean i want to mention something that that maybe will help others to understand the the way how i i work you know i i have this you know very diverse uh, uh, artistic practice. They are like they. It, it varies from you know photography, the 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 public interventions, which are in sometimes like small installations, sometimes very complex actions in a in a guerrilla, guerrilla migrating uh, uh, interaction between the different social groups and etc. But sometimes they are like really you know sort of simple photography work uh, uh, or uh, the sculptural like pieces which are which are done in textile so it really varies and uh, but what I what I always been doing to have um, a series of the work which I'm which which I'm just obsessed which 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 kind of like are my base which I keep on doing as a as a as a you know just a need to make them or I don't know why or it's 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 actually this obsession that I do like they, they can be a self portraits or 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 these crochet works or or smaller pieces or, or the pieces that I do with the glass for example or the archives I for example like have uh, three or four different archives that I'm you know constantly working on I mean like I'm constantly gathering cording the the the, the elements in these archives and one and then you know these you know works that appear as a as a as a kind of like a brisk of you know like this idea that pops up and i make them or 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 i'm commissioned to make them but um with the piece the hooked series with the pieces of crochet uh, uh textile works it was actually you know a long process that you described uh, uh, where I had to start making them and 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 it took years or and maybe even a decade that I was able to really articulate what they are and that and that they they became noticed in a way that they are now uh and um and that's 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 maybe a nature of certain works you know that we need to time to that they grow and 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 only by being obsessed with something that you can understand why what what's the core where is this root of that obsession mm. it then became clear that the work actually originated in the in the siege of sarajevo which is not the only of your works that maybe originates in that period. No, definitely not. But you know, like I think that that's also the the time of uh, this time of you know isolation because that's also what the 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 siege was about. You know, like being isolated and 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 having, you know, being aware you don't have time that you that it might that your your time is constantly jeopardized by the by 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 the death that is around you uh you had a time where you you could or you had to dig in and and find different comforts and and um and I think that 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 uh, w w the moment where I started to to learn crocheting during the war, uh, it is actually just you know it is very similar to to um, captivity of 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 the women you know, in in the centuries in the patriarchy that we live in nowadays. You know this captivity in which we we have to be obsessed with the beauty the the image the 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 presence how something is presented and how we are presented and what we make and how the, so it is it is these hook nets are symbols to, of that you know this captivity yeah. which is uh, unfortunately the you know mostly uh 
targeted towards women, but obviously the men are not excluded from that because they are in a, in a different way. You know, they benefit from the patriarchy, but but in the same time they are kept in it as a prisoners as well. And and so in that work, there is also something that's very prominent in your work, and that's the feminism of the work, the the exploration of that female condition a sort of centuries, millennia long condition of being at home and being immersed. And then out of that kind of immersion or captivity, uh, so creativity is somehow born or extracted. And so I think that that's another important aspect, right? Yes, yes. And, and I kept on speaking about it very often, you know, that basically, you know, women, uh, um, women, invented decoration so they could buy themselves time you know to to uh, not only time like to 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 allow themselves to be creative because they were making something useful you know obviously as being a, 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 a being caregivers mothers uh, uh, being exploited in a certain in in every aspect of their labor but also physical existence you know there were moments in which you were uh, you could make something but that needs to be useful but if you are making something useful which takes longer time so it is also beautiful and decorative you are buying self more time to sit down and actually do a needlework you know like in like so you wouldn't and that's you know like that's a parallel like why men were reading and and women were doing a uh, uh, needleworks you know it's because most of those women were not educated to 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 read and then it's and then it's also high it's better to do that than 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 uh, uh and then you are also privileged if you can do that if you are not swiping the floor or or being a a, a um um, um, slave in in so so I mean there are like so many interesting layers uh, to that and that's why I think that it's really interesting it's it's really uh, uh, it was really important for me to to again have this objects these textile objects which are so fragile and and but in the same time you know they they look fragile or because they are done in, with the with the thin uh, uh, thread and 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 with this delicate work of crocheting and 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 every knot is important, but in the same time they are resistant. You know you can you know like you can they they can easily adopt, and uh, the conversation which which they create in an architectural uh, uh, surrounding is very important for me. So it's it is it basically they they function. Uh, uh, their their purpose is to function in the spaces which are not wide cube spaces mm -hmm. which are not blank spaces but rather the real surrounding you know like the real space not the, the matrix that we create in a gallery mm -hmm. i think there's another interesting element is the weaving and textile work even though it's like a, a centuries long domain in which women have expressed their creativity it's, it's really late become uh, accepted as a form of art, even. So we even have Annie Albers, the Bauhaus artist, who has, well, I presume she has been uh, accepted as an artist, but, you know, there's always that Joseph Albers shadow. Um, that's always, you know, that, that, that's, that always happens with the, with the, um, in the history. And, and that's something that I'm very afraid of now, because, you know, those doors that open are the ones that shut down. And then, you know, like cer certain things become trends and then they are like, just, just so we can reject them. And we can say like, yeah, you know, like, aha, uh -huh. we, I mean, we, in the sixties, we had a, a sexual revolution. We were, we were much more liberated in, in the terms of our body, our sexuality, you know, like there are discussions about it. And, and nowadays, you know, like you see the, the conservatism in a, in a, in, in with young people, you know, like, you know, huh, you know, 
why why do we why do we have such a bloom of white weddings and and <laughs> and marriage as such you know like why why in 2023 we are like there are white weddings with a you know you know which we, i mean we, yes they they look nice on a certain image but what that image is I mean, really photograph. representing yeah. photographs you know like a high but is it done only for the photographs and what it is really in a in what is it really like is mm -hmm. it the partnership and then in the same time you know like you say like yeah but now you know like we are so open with you know, like it doesn't have to be marriage and blah blah, blah. but we are talking about again very exclusive uh, uh um uh, uh, limited group of people who are saying like yeah we don't have to get married but mm. populistic uh, um, trend and state of mind in our civilization is now big white weddings and uh, and and that and why am I targeting now the big white weddings because we are you know this white wedding dress is a symbol of virginity and then this symbol of virginity is a next step where we go into saying like huh you know like the women body and uh right to abortion and on and all of a sudden like we are killing uh, 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 uh babies and and what's what you know like we have to be you know so so i'm a very much afraid of this raise rise of this uh, uh um um a strategies that control actually society and make them obsessed with the certain images and uh, 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 standards or or ideas, but uh, uh, without but actually are not allowing them to 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 think and especially critically think about their own position and and and, uh, and to come back with a with a with a women. Uh, artistic practice and why you know that for example the textile work was always present you know like it was you know well, since since uh, uh since our uh first uh uh creative Global. expressions we w women were making art same as women were hunters as well as the the the, the caregivers and you know one of the first uh um recycled object ever was actually a, a rug made of 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 uh, waste of the the leather and fur so you know and that that's you know like a house now let's argue if the man or women did it you know and it's probably quite obvious who did it but um but um, I think it's an interesting point that you're making that, and I think it goes back to what you were saying earlier about this um, perspective that we have, or I would I would just exclude us personally from the kind of white Western perspective, which is the Western European or however you want to call it, where nothing can ever go wrong. Um, and that history is constant process of things getting better. That, you know, we, uh, from uh, former Yugoslavia know that that's not the case. We know that things are not always getting better. They can get worse. Um, and in some ways that allows us to be maybe more agile or, or more able to... Kind Ironic. of <laughs> Ironically, we're able to psychologically deal with difficulty, that like sudden difficulty, where in the UK there was a complete disbelief when um, this vote, the Brexit vote happened, it was just this kind of total lack of sense of reality or that this is really going to happen or that this really happened. And we see that. I mean, we see that in the Middle East. Uh, we see that in Iran, in Turkey, that that social uh, progress or, this, or the kind of liberalism can completely turn and go completely backwards. 
I, 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 but, but again, like it's interesting that you started this conversation with this question of, you know, like what is our role as educators? And I think, the, you know, like the, we keep on coming back to that. You know, it is, you are absolutely right. Our role, you know, we, I mean, it is good that, that, that we push this notion that we are part of the Western uh, cultural context and that we Western wide cultural context. But in the same time, the fact that we survive what we survived and come from the, you know, I would say like outskirts, you know, the, the you know, make us more uh, um, aware definitely but also resistant as you said and 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 more uh, adoptable and and more uh cynical or, or or you know like so so we can and um and then you know it i think i think that that that, that we very often juggle with that you know like should we just you know be accepted forget our own language understanding forget our own past you know keep insist to forget and become you know like very integrated in a, in a, in this context and say like yes i want to be that and like i want this security and i want to be blind to these you know to be shocked when certain things go wrong <laughs> which we knew that they are obvious that they could go wrong and or or we keep on being in a way uh um this you know this corrective this you know like pe be vocal about these things and 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 in the same time know that 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 we will probably be the losers and and be the the uh, keep on being disappointed uh, uh, being pushed aside being seen as you know uh, um sometimes even too pathetic or or too um uh victimized or to to nihilist out nihilist out you know because you know like nobody wants to hear that you know their secure way of life is wrong because i i mean i it, it, i i mean i you know, it's would i change yeah but in the same time you know, you know that the change you are changing for the role which which actually makes uh, uh 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 makes you blind to the the obstacles that i mean yeah i was i was born in 1990 in ujice right so i had never had that conscious moment of understanding that everything is now going to shit you know and i often think about people like you, my parents, who, who were aware in 1988, 1980 even, when Tito died, 85, 90, you know, like there must have been some hope that uh, things are not gonna get that bad, but yet it was horrific what happened. So um, yeah, it's, but that's that's actually what we are living now on a on a on a global scale with a, with a environmental disaster that we are facing the catastrophe of 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 a global warming and and you know we are like we, we you know i think that that it's it's just impossible that anyone who who has any access to the information and the knowledge and who is educated and in living, you know, is not aware that shit already hit the fan and that we are now just seeing where it will lead us, you know, that it's that there is no way how this how we will sustain this life. Like there is like each year and with the you know like the you know not only the climate which is which is obviously you know now goes in a in a in direction that we cannot anymore control it now you know like this below one percent like the zero like it's 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 not possible to 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 go back, but actually we are what we are doing is we are you know we are just after pandemic just pushing it further, you know, like just stepping on the gas instead of you know like 
hitting the brake, we are stepping on the gas. You know, like the mass production, the 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 the, the you know like construction works that you see in the nature now. Like I live partly in Istria. I told you, like you know, you see that you know how many new apartment buildings for tourists are being built that you kind of like you 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 you, you think like okay did did anyone calculate actually this that natality is going down you know like i mean mm. and in the same way in the same time you have this you know like let's push 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 there is lack of workforce you know, like literally, people from from Bangladesh are now employed in a, in a hotels in a in a in a in a in the Adriatic seas. You know, like it's not anymore. You know, like I have free people from Croatia that comes from the in inland to the coast to work as a tourist uh, uh, in the tourist season that, to work, and it's not anymore that people from Serbia or Bosnia migrate to the to 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 the to the Croatia coast or Italy or Spain to work. Now it's like you know like thailand bangladesh you know like it's it's crazy what it's and and then in, in the same time it is this migration are allowed only when they are are regulated by very strict uh, exploitation systems which which basically are new slavery you know like they are keeping these people you know like uh you know, like imprisoned for for working for this salary and that they have a permit to be in this european soil and to work in these places and and on the same time you 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 know like the migrants, women, children, kids are dying at the at, 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 at the at the sea. So I mean, we are really facing a huge, huge disasters. You know, like I don't see that the like that the good things can ha can happen from that. They can happen only in the aspects where, you know, when th one thing gets worse, you know, there are certain awakening and but you know i think it will take much more to away to be awake to 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 have a big change than than uh, uh um then how compared to 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 explosion uh, uh, explosion of of this exploitation and the wrong uh, um way that the, the society and the, our civilization is going so yeah and in that there seems to be a i mean if we take if we bring this conversation back to uh in a way where we started the role of an artist and i'm thinking as you were saying all of this i was thinking of one of your works that created this visceral response in such a subtle way and that is the 1395 days without red i walked into the room in a museum where the work was being screened and i you know how in galleries you walk in half way through the film and what i saw on the screen were very sort of zoomed in faces of the people i don't know i think i probably recognized the face the faces um so i related immediately but I could hear the cross, the running across the street. So I could see these zoomed in faces and I could just hear the sound of, of, of running, of the short sequences of running. And I was overwhelmed completely. I mean, it was such a, I had such a visceral experience of knowing exactly what that was. And, you know, I just really, I immediately knew what it was, you know, it was really powerful. And and of course, then I sat through the whole thing and and watched it and but you know and art, I guess art is able to do that to kind of disarm you completely and to kind of hit you and to maybe do something. It is, and that's that's I think the 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 beauty of it uh, in a in a in react you know like reacting to 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 the artwork but also making it which is which is a simple process uh, uh liberated from this burden of 
I would say even uh, um, uh, uh, a burden of language, you know, like although it is a visual language, but or, or but it it is liberated to of these different forms in which we need to explain things, you know. You extract really the essence of it can be a sound, as you said, or just one image, or just you know the material that we that we choose to, and we choose to make, but also to to relate to. You know, it is it is in a way, um, um, you know, it maybe it will be contradictory what I what. <laughs> what I will say because we are you know you are an architect and I'm an artist and in a in 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 the society where everything is about you know consuming and producing and we are very critical of you know over consumption and over production and we should be I think if we go back to the essence of art making as something which is which is core of the creativity that goes back to hand making or like i mean even like using technology but like not you know going to the essence of creation and what what do we need to create and why do we have the need to create something then actually we you know like in the in 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 this slowing down and and making that and, and allowing yourself to be creative to 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 make something out of something and to give the space for someone else to use it actually that is actually slowing us down it's kind of it it is it is uh, uh it is it it bring us back that that you know like the 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 make you know uh, planting uh, the vegetables or or growing the vegetables or growing food your own food and and working with the nature is is art kind of like art making it is very creative process and so it's just like you know going back to these small things which which is answer to the question like you know can i make it and should i make it and and like let's make it but like let's let me make it and let's you know really understand what i'm making rather than just ordering it and 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 uh using because in, in, in i think that in that that's that way we understand what more what 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 uh, uh how beautiful it is to uh to give yourself a time to make something and to perceive something because otherwise we lose these connections and we become just you know like oversaturated with with what is around us and what we can you know consume mm. uh and also uh um we 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 also over produce so i think it's it's it is actually very important for each of us to 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 take that in a consideration in our own practice nowadays that yeah. why do we need to you know what exactly do we need to make and why are we making should be a, a, a essential questions but in that in in the sense of creating a reaction that's another element of artist responsibility and you, I know you said it's there'll be thousands of different experiences. There'll be thousands of different ways of engaging with the work, but there might also be something overwhelming. Um, so there always has to be that element of realizing of being overwhelmed. But that's what I exactly you know like trying to 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 explain in a, in allowing yourself like to give you. Uh, give yourself a time and a space to create something but to also create time and space for others to mm. to to take that in and it's i mean it's it's very simple comp comparison but it's just you know like aha uh -huh, you can just you know 
be in your room with your partner or, or, or even alone and just spend a day doing nothing and that's fine. But if you are like in, in that day of doing nothing, if you put yourself a, a, a music that you love or or if you don't love music, just open a window and listen to the, you know, like the noise of the city or 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 birds, whatever you feel like. Like, but if you just allow yourself to experience things, you know, to drink that glass of water and being conscious of drinking that water and what that water is all of a sudden you have a better quality of that day of that moment because that's exactly like aha it is i am thirsty and i'm drinking this water and it's water but if you are like constantly in in somewhere else like not being present in that moment of you what you are having it is it will just be another dull day you know like you will you know like nothing to remember nothing to to you know get you excited about and and that is you know like it sounds super simple you know like all these religions have that and you know, like you can find that in a different self help books and blah 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 but on the end you know like it is very simple like the the most you know like the 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 true truth is very simple so we need to allow ourselves to to have that experience in being conscious of what we are you know, like making and allowing ourselves and allowing others and creating these moments for others and 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 uh, um, and that that actually creates the certain energy that we that that that. that um... So artist is a medium. Artist is a creator of a well, maybe not belief system, but of some sort of. They are of... preachers as well. Like that's. The, the, the DJs, preachers, <laughs> directors, you know, that's why, that's why, that's why. And then, then you think like, oh my God, you know, like how, you know, on the end they are, you know, like writers, uh, architects, you know, like imagine like what, what, what is the most beautiful thing in, in, in life comes from that. Mm. It comes from the, this, creativity like the scientists like but you know like creating something you know like it is this beauty of of mm. of, of having and then you know like not everything is about the the the, the you know like the the you know not it is not about the profit it's about the energy that comes as a profit you know like this is the, the most beautiful thing you know and in, in and in that profit tree, or maybe there is another word, space is important. And you mentioned architects here and there, but but there's something about your work that is in the space. And it's I don't know how much it is responsive to the space, physical space. Um, it's all political, social aspects, uh, but also also it's quite spatial. And, and in a way, also, it challenges the notion of gallery, of a confined space. It kind of escapes this limiting notion of, of a kind of a white cube, as you've said already. You know, we, the, the religious building is always, there's always something about that space in which we are kind of relate to these ideas, uh, whether it's a mosque or a church or a place that is known to have some energy, a Neolithic stone circle or something. But I think that that's what you're saying is actually this this choreography that allow us to be aware of the certain things. And that's where, you know, like that's why these architecture have a certain format. And that's why we feel different when we enter the the cathedral or, uh, or rather than, a, you know, like, I don't know, the, the, the hut or whatever, you know, it's, it is about this atmosphere that allow us to be present and, and and that's why you know like that that's why then the nature is so exciting because you know like we have these you know like uh, all these connections that are so present and even if you are like if even if you you just love the city in the same time you know like you know the the it, how the sun hits and where it makes it uh, uh, 
it it makes it special and that's as i said like this is the certain choreography that allow us to, to be aware of these these uh, 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 experiences that we we have Stella, i'm curious what are the three collections that you're uh in a constant process of collecting or or that's something that's going to emerge in the future we don't need to talk about that yeah no it's 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 uh it's um it's it actually started with a buna dista omnis this uh, project that i did for the welcome collection in london in 2015 and that's where i where where the the actually uh, the the collection or the database uh, archive uh, started uh, uh, with the forensic case, um, with all the material connected to the forensic case in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and then it spread out to the the the, the region. Uh, but uh, actually, it is it is very um, um, important for me to keep on working on it because the one part of the project is the archive the other one is is a methodology which came out of this process of collecting and it's kind of very you know very interesting for me to to keep on working on it in in, in using this very wild uh, uh open uh, uh anti methodology but actually methodology in in how 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 archive or how waste vast of uh, information can be uh, uh, summarized and and um, uh, presented to the public and experience in the short time like so that's very interesting for me to 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 keep on working with it like what does it mean to have the 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 shuffle or random uh, uh, extracts of the from the archives and what what how the 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 how do we um how do we we work with uh, with a uh, with a constantly growing data that 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 we, we that we make and in the same time like so that's a buna this sound is this forensic uh, archive is one uh the other one is actually started also in 2000 2014 i wasn't aware when i started doing this project that it will be an archive but it it, it happened to be the that that only later same as the with the with the textile work only later and understand what i'm actually doing and in the 2014 i did a public uh, project called uh, summer is not over which is based on the the images um of explosion fires from the war zones and now in in this almost 10 years since I, since i'm collecting different images uh through the internet um this 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 uh, uh this area of interest uh widens so it's now in Lewis's summer so it's in german translation of uh, endless summer um which which spreads out no not only by the uh, uh, collecting images from the war zones but actually collecting images um of the fire or the smoke so to be precise you know i collect or I extract the the details of the images of the sky with this smoke fiery explosion or explosion so it's always you know like focusing on these 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 details where where this um they would describe it in a photography eye resting images which is which is very contradictory con contra to what these images actually are about you know so so now there are like thousands and thousands of these images that i that i have and they are also produced in the same methodology methodology as abuna this time in these short clips so how you can see them is actually through this process of the shuffle uh, um extracts and then uh, the the most recent one which i which 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 i started uh, uh, collecting in started gathering these images um is from 2016 and they are actually uh, uh messages and graffitis which again connects to to my work bosnian girl which 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 used the the this already um and famous <laughs> graffiti done by one soldier 
uh, in Srebrenica where the genocide uh, happened in Bosnia. So now in this case with this with this collection of the graffitis, I'm 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 um, focused on the messages and the graffitis done by the migrants in the Balkan route. So and not only in the Balkan route, but obviously where they uh, wherever they land sort of you know, like the, they are sometimes uh, prisoners prisons like in UK the facilities that, that are like literally prisons or the camps where they are hold you know like it's also the France and the other European cities where they are but also and then then actually now I see that the, these these images are spreading also to the graffitis or the messages that are somehow related to the migration so they can they mm. they are even uh, um, graffitis connected to the the global war and 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 the reasons why the migrations are actually happening so they can be up you know like the images of the